Okay, I'll just show you a little technique here which I think is something you should get into. Um, I'll create a new track using the track menu in this upper mm, local menu bar. Remember the local menu bar for this or any of the windows contains every command you need to do anything in that edit window. So this is the local menu bar for the arrange page and therefore I can also do any command I want to do with this track column. So I'd go to here, track, new, or I can use the key command, alt command and N, which will then bring up the create track prompt. And we'll just create another software instrument, but we will DTIC open library this time, alright? So I'll create a new track. There are new instrument track appears. And I'll go up here and I'll get my pencil tool and draw in another region. Now I've got two regions, okay? Okay, now let's say this first region up here, I'll open up the piano roll and now I'm editing the contents of this region. Right? Now I'll get the pencil tool for the piano edit because remember the tools are different for this local edit bar which is for the piano edit, right? Uh, local menu bar, sorry. Okay, so I'll put in a bass line. Let's say this is a bass line. Just for the sake of argument, it's just four notes on the beat, right? But whatever. And I'll just shorten those. Okay, so I've got a bass line. Actually, I'll just raise that up so it's more visible in the region up there, right? There we are. There's my bass line. Zoom in a bit in depth. Okay. Boom, 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 whatever. Now, so I've got this looping around, and I'll then put the next track into record, and I'll record a little keyboard lick just do 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 or something all right so i'll draw in some notes as if that was the lick now this lick is not going to be kind of really quantized on the beat it's quite free form jazzy kind of little lick so i'll put my snap to ticks here so i'll put a few little notes in as if it's a little lick but i'll make sure that they're not on any 16ths or anything like that so let's imagine that's my little keyboard riff which is sort of off beat very jazzy and funky some sort of little lick you know what i mean like that all right there it is. So I play that little doo -doo -doo on the keyboard and then I'm looping it and listening to it and I'm thinking, yeah, I quite like the lick, but it's not lining up right with the bass line. So let's say, I'll just zoom in horizontally. I look, listen to it and I think, you know what, it would sound great if, but that's the beginning of the lick there and I want that to line up with this bass note. All right, so what I do is I put my snap into ticks because now I do want to work in a fine resolution and then I just drag this region like that until that note, that first note there in that region lines up with that bass line note on the third bass line note there, right? Like that. And you know, you can be as accurate as you want. I mean, obviously you want to listen when you're lining things up because it's how it sounds, yeah? So you line it up roughly and you listen to it and you think, yeah, that's actually a little bit further forward. Yeah, yeah, no, a little bit forward actually. It would sound better if it's slightly ahead. Yeah, that's really grooving perfectly. So now the lick is lining up with the bass line. All right, so done. And we did that by dragging it around at this fine resolution of ticks. But the thing is, now look where the beginning of this region is. It's not on any line. It's not on a division, 16th line. It's not on a bar line, and it's not on a beat line. It's just floating around there at some random kind of weird position. But, you know, this lick plays in the right place now, relative to the bass line. Okay, now when you zoom out then, and you want to then start to move the, the blocks of your arrangement around, the problem that you've got is that this doesn't begin at a bar. You know, it's sort of off the bar. Uh, what you could do is you could put this into bar, and if I drag this by a bar, it will just move back by a whole bar, and it will now be sort of behind bar six and I move it by a bar this way and it's now behind bar seven so I am moving it around to the position I want and it will play inside that bar beginning at the right position all right but the point is visually it doesn't line up with any lines okay now if you were sort of making this into an actual track you might copy that over you know so it lines up with the baseline over four bars or something and then when you come to the last part of that section of the song it just sustains and dies away while the bass keeps playing and the next bit comes in, whatever. But the point I'm saying is is that now none of these line up 
this doesn't line up anymore with the beginning of bars. So if you then zoom right out and the arrangement is getting bigger and you start moving blocks around, these are always off the beginning of bars and they're visually confusing. All right, so watch. All you do is, oh, I zoomed in too far. And I'm not going to use any fancy things for doing zooming and stuff at the moment because we're going to come to that. What you do is, you simply now that you've got this we want to keep the notes in that same position so they line up with the bass line but what we're going to do is we're going to shorten that so okay so what I'll do is I'll um, open the piano roll with that region selected and I'll just shorten that last note so it fits now inside the bar okay there see it fits now now I can drag the length of the bar shorter so if I set this to snap to absolute value, I can now snap the back of this to that bar. There it is. Okay, now the same with the front. With snap to absolute value selected, it will snap it to the selected value, which is bar. So I now drag this up and it snaps to the beginning of that bar. Now that note there, the first opening note, has not moved. It's still absolutely where I want it relative to the third bass line note. But now when I drag these regions around and copy them and things, everything just starts and ends at a bar marker. Do you know what I mean? So, close this again. So, now when I'm zoomed out, it's much easier, because ev visually, you know what I mean? Because that is now my four bars of my sort of chorus or whatever, and when I move them around or copy them, like, you know, I'm, I'm just moving like whole bar chunks of blocks, you know, and visually it's very easy to see what's going on, but oh, inside that the note is offset in its odd position as usual. Okay, so that's a way that you can use the snap to absolute value in combination with the bar and beat to then, you know, once you've, once you've used ticks or samples to move something around and it's in an odd position, not beginning at any bar or beat or, or division marker, you can then switch on snap to absolute value and drag the front or the back or both so they're snapped exactly to a bar in length and then visually you've got a nice clean easy to see block that fits in a bar and can be dragged around and there's no visual confusion but the notes inside still play in their offset kind of position. Alright, so that makes sense? Alrighty, uh, so um, the only other thing we've got then is the snap automation and then we move on to the drag menu. Um, so let's do that now.